Are you thinking about a move to Red Deer and want to know more about its surrounding towns? Well, that's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, I'm Warren Hansen, a realtor in Central Alberta with the Trillant Real Estate Group. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and you don't want to miss anything. Living in Red Deer has its benefits, especially if your work is in the city. However, a lot of people who move here don't realize that there are towns surrounding Red Deer that are only a 15 to 20 minute commute. These great towns offer people the benefits of small town living, and they also have access to all the amenities of Red Deer. So here are the top three towns you should consider if you're making a move to Red Deer. Number three, Penhold. Penhold is a quiet, family-oriented town just south of Red Deer that has good access to the QE2 and Highway 2A. The population is just over 3,500 and its public school goes to grade 12. So there's no need for busing the kids out of town. Now they have a really great sports multi-complex and the local shopping has everything you need including two Tim Hortons. And you're not very far to the south end of Red Deer if you want to do a Costco run. Number two, Black Falls. Black Falls is on the opposite end from Penhold and is just north of Red Deer. It also has good access to the QE2 and Highway 2A, and it's one of the fastest growing towns in Alberta with a population of just over 10,000. It does have both public and Catholic schools, and a new high school is expected to open in 2024, but for now, the kids will need to be bused to either Lacombe or, high, or Red Deer for high school. Now Black Falls has the Abbey Centre, which is an awesome fitness and rec facility, and it also has the Eagle Builder Centre that is getting an expansion with another surface, ice surface and library, and it's the home of the Black Falls Bulldogs, which is an AJHL hockey team. Number one, Sylvan Lake. Sylvan Lake is west of Red Deer on Highway 11 or 11A, and it's a vibrant lakeside community with a full-time population of just over 14,800 people. The lake offers year-round fun for the family, from kayaking to ice fishing, and Sylvan Lake is one of the most popular destinations in Alberta during the summer with all sorts of things happening from fireworks to festivals. And Sylvan Lake also has all the shopping you'll ever need from tons of local restaurants to Walmart to Canadian Tire and even a movie theater. For schools, the public school goes all the way to grade 12 and the Catholic goes to grade nine. So then the kids are bused to Red Deer for high school. Sylvan Lake has an amazing multiplex called the Nexor Center. And it's the home to the Wranglers, which is an HJHL hockey team. And the town is also proud to be home to the Sylvan Lake Gulls, which is a WCBL baseball team. And they have a brand new baseball stadium on the west side of Sylvan Lake. So now you know the three towns to consider if you're thinking about a move to Red Deer, but did you know there are even more affordable towns in central Alberta? So if you're willing to drive a bit further, you can save big when buying a home. And if you'd like to chat about it, my contact details are in the description below of this video. And make sure to stay tuned. In this next video, I discuss buying a home in the older parts of town versus buying a brand new home. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And, you know, tell me, are you planning on buying a home in central Alberta? And be sure to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Monday, all about living here in central Alberta. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.